Hi there, this is Dr. Tammy Stewart from PT2Excel in Yelm, Washington to show you how to properly use a quad cane. So quad canes come in two sizes. I have here a small base quad cane. So you can see it has four feet, one, two, three, four. This is a small base. It's, you know, a smidge wider, longer than my hand. So you can get them bigger if you need more stability. Smaller base of support is less stable bigger base of support is more stable. So first thing is first, you need to size it to you properly. Notice that this side is flatter and this side juts out a bit more. You want the flatter side towards your body. So this is set up to go on this side of my body so that I'm not bumping into those feet that come out wider. That's the idea behind that. Now, if my injury was on this side, I would need the quad cane on the opposite side. You always want to put the cane on the opposite side of the weak leg or injured leg. So then I would adjust this by pushing in this little button. You can see there the little button. Push it in and you can twist this and it has a button on the opposite side. So now I've just twisted the base now this is set up to be on this side. So if this leg is injured, this is my left leg, I would put the cane on the right side. If my right leg is injured, I'd put the cane on the left side because when we walk normally, we swing our arms. So I would walk normally just like this. I'm being a little exaggerated just for the purposes of demonstration, but you get the point. We wanna keep that same gait pattern, that normal walking pattern when we put a cane in the hand. So if my left leg is my problematic leg, then I'm gonna put my cane in my right hand. Now, the other thing is that you wanna make sure it's the right height for you. So when you put the cane directly beside you, down on the ground, and you put your wrist down, it should hit you right there on the wrist. If it hits you here, it's too short. If it hits you here, it's too high. So for this particular cane, it's hitting me about mid palm. So this cane is too short for me. So I'm gonna adjust it with that same button, push in the button, pull it apart a smidge, and there we go, I've adjusted it. Now, sometimes you wanna crank down this little screw here, and that just keeps it really, really stable once you've got it to the right adjust, adjusted size for you. So now I retest, uh, it hits me right at that wrist point. You can see from there, this is perfect. So to walk with it, like I said, I'm gonna have it on the opposite side of my weak leg, and I'm gonna take a step even with that quad cane, and the next foot can come even to it or in front of, that part doesn't matter. But step here, and this is how I would walk with this quad cane. What you do not wanna do, and I see this a lot, so please don't do this because it's super not safe, is that you hit with two feet and then you roll the cane forward. So it looks like this. So I hit with two feet, I roll it forward. I hit with two feet, I roll it forward. The downside to doing this, it's faster, but the downside to doing this is super unstable because the cane then is launching you forward. So you're much more likely to be propelled forward more than your balance can control if you hit with those two feet and then roll forward. So just to go again, we take a step, plant all four feet of the cane on the ground, step two or through with the other foot, just like this. So give that a try, see how it goes. If you have questions, concerns, comments, feel free to list them below. Also feel free to reach out to us directly. The link below is to our website. You can also call us, text us, email us. We'd love to hear from you. And if you feel like you need a little extra help on how to use a quad cane or with your balance or anything at all, we'd be happy to help. Feel free to come see us in person. Thanks.